I'm Greg Tepper. That's Greg Powers. And this is This Week in Cruton. It's This Week in Recruiting with Greg Powers of Next Level Athlete. Follow him on Twitter at GPowerScout. Follow Next Level Athlete on Twitter at Next Level D1. See his fine work at TexasFootball.com slash recruiting. And of course, this segment is brought to you by our good chicken friends at Chicken Express. Chicken Express. I might have it for lunch today. Oof. Nice. I, I, have thinking, I, I don't know what I'm going to do for lunch. And then I said Chicken Express. I go, Chicken Express sounds good. Uh, you know, I think I found something better than the Chicken Express chicken tender. Uh-oh. The catfish filet. Like, it was something that I was really hesitant to try because, you know, I don't want to skip over getting yeah, I know. the chicken. Well, it's one of the – yeah, I mean, like, that's the problem. The problem with Chicken Express is if you order one thing – there's a lot of things you're not ordering, mm-hmm. and it's like it's a lost opportunity. Cost. Su- choosing, you know what I mean? The opportunity cost at, 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 at is very high at, at Chicken Express. You gotta hit you gotta hit it right whenever you. You order don't it. dunk the catfish fillet though. You have to just eat it with hot sauce. See, you hot don't sauce dunk it in the gravy mm-hmm. like the, the tender. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. choosing like between the side like I don't ha- I'm not I don't have anxiety, but choosing between the sides gives me anxiety because there's too many of them that are good. Uh, it's this week in recruiting. A lot to get to. Let's we'll start with our prospect on the rise. Our prospect on the rise is uh, 2022 running back out of Newton, DeAnthony, DeAnthony Gatson, is our is the prospect on the rise. Picked up a big-time in-state offer from the University of Texas. He now has 22 offers. He's the number 79 prospect in our DCTF Hot 100 on TexasFootball.com slash recruiting. He's got offers from everywhere. Baylor, Houston, Texas, uh, TCU Tech, Michigan, Nebraska, Oklahoma State, USC. I will say this. He's a three-star. He strikes me as like, I don't know if there's such a thing as a high three-star. That strikes me as like a high three-star, like bordering, cusping on the four-star. Now you know the like the pain that I go through. <laughs> the pain <laughs> of doing these rankings man because if you're in the top 100 this year like you're a dude yeah you know yeah. DeAnthony Gatson's rushed for over 4,000 yards in his Texas high school football career and he still has a year left yeah to play so he may be a 6,000 yard guy by the time he graduates mm-hmm. you know I think he rushed for not just over 1,900 yards so I think it's certainly attainable that he could rush for 2,000 yards in a, a complete season where I think Newton will probably be a little bit better next year and make a deeper run into the playoffs. But Gatson is one of those guys who runs with passion, I guess is the best way to to explain it. There are no wasted steps with this guy. He he relishes contact, and he's put together at like 5'10", 200. Uh, He's a guy who will make defenders pay the price if they try to arm tackle him or really if they try to get in his way, he loves to run guys over. So I really like his game a whole lot, and and he's a guy who – you nailed it, justifiably could be rated higher. This is a guy, like, you watch him run, and and the one thing that I think is, is interesting, you know, like, people talk about measurables all the time, and here he is, he's 5'10", 200. It's like, this dude is thick. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is a right. guy who, you can see those, the, 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 like, the lower body strength when he runs, it is very, very impressive. He's like a um, rock truck, I guess. Basically, yeah. you know, there's nothing that's really going to slow him, slow him down. It, it takes multiple guys at the high school level to to tackle him a, a lot of the times, and it'll be interesting to see what this Texas offer does to potentially shake up his recruitment. He has an official visit scheduled with Colorado. Mm-hmm. Um, Oklahoma State's been in there for a while, and he and he has you know a couple. TCU is another school that was a very early offer for him and Baylor but now can the Longhorns uh get get in the mm-hmm. get in this game and make him consider staying at home and playing in Austin most certainly uh keep an eye on that uh Newton running back D'Anthony Gatson our prospect on the rise our commit of the week our commit of the week let's go down to the Houston area um to talk about Cy Ranch 2022 offensive tackle Bryce Simpson Simpson yep Simpson no P Simpson there is a P. Yeah. There is a P. Oh, you. Oh. Yeah, that's a typo then. Bri- Bryce Simpson. That is not on me. Good job. Just have to no, hit. Re- you. you just have to hit refresh. It was caught, but not caught in time. Uh, for he you, has, not he caught has, in time for you. Bryce Simpson, <laughs> a DCTF. This is on you. DCTF. Don't worry, I've already said it on the air or anything. Bryce Simpson, 
<laughs> Three-star prospect at the offensive tackle out of Cy Ranch. He has committed to Baylor. Had offers from a few different places around the state, including Houston, uh, North Texas, other Power 5 offers uh, like Utah and Ole Miss in Colorado. But he is going to stay in Waco. Bryce Simpson, the 6'6", 310-pound offensive tackle, is committed to Baylor. He needs um, the extra letter in his – he definitely needs the P to fill out that jersey, 6'6", 310. <laughs> He's a massive dude. And I really, what I really like about him is that he – developed a lot of strength and power going from his sophomore year to his junior year. I think the coaches over there told us that he gained 15 pounds mm. uh, heading in to what was the 2021 season, and that made a huge difference uh, on tape because he's a guy who can really bully the defensive linemen, push them out of the way pretty easily to clear lanes for uh, a pretty good rushing attack there. But he has the nimbleness and the feet to, I think, develop into uh, a guy that you're looking for in pass protection at the next level. Uh, he kind of has those qualities about him. He moves really well. And, and he's another one of these guys with, you know, he's around that 10 to 12 offer marker that I think if there would have been a true evaluation period this season – um, that he would have already had 25. I mean, he's a, he's a good-looking prospect. I think sometimes people use this, this in a, in a, and this comes off as insulting, and I don't mean it this way. He strikes me as a little bit of a project, and what I mean by that is he's a pretty darn good offensive lineman right now. I think you see the frame, and I think you see the tools, and I think you see the skills, and you say there's another level for him that, like, he could go to college and be pretty successful if he doesn't improve you know, at all. But if they can develop him even a little bit more as a senior here at Cy Ranch, and then if you do it, you know, when he, once he gets to Baylor and kind of gets in, in their program, uh, this feels like one of those guys that could end up being a real star and go from what's a really nice pickup here for the Bears to, like, five years later we're talking about, like, oh, man, this is the star of the class. Sometimes that's just growing into sure. learning how to control. Like, when you're that big, learning how to control your body is not something that just comes naturally, I feel like. For sure. <laughs> he has all the tools. I mean, it, I think it clearly jumps out on tape, that, and everybody's watching the tape as we're talking about him. You can see it. And credit to Baylor, who's done a really good job up front in the last two recruiting classes. I mean, you throw it back to the 20 – 2021 class, and they signed, you know, a guy who I love at center in Connor Heffernan to go with Tate Williams, mm -hmm. a, a guy who performed well in the state track meet uh, this past weekend, and, and then throw it to this year where they have Bryce Simpson and Colton Price, and they even went out of state to grab an offensive lineman, um, Timothy Dawn from Camden Fairview. They're starting to put together the foundation blocks of what's going to be uh, a, a good team in the trenches moving forward. Most certainly. Uh, Cy Ranch offensive tackle Bryce Simpson, uh, the new Baylor commit, our commit of the week. We're talking this week in recruiting with Greg Powers, the next level athlete here on Texas Football Today. Get involved in the conversation at hashtag TF Today. Let's go to our underclassman of the week. And if you want to feel old, let's talk about a guy in the class of 2024. <laughs> He's going to play his sophomore season this year. I'm talking about Fort Worth Brewer, uh, 2024 cornerback Jordan Johnson Rubel. Jordan Johnson Rubel is the name. Uh, and playing corner is his game. He is one of the hottest recruits in the state this spring. He got an offer this weekend from Arkansas. Uh, he's already got offers from A&M, Georgia, USC, TCU, SMU, Baylor, all over. Um, he was the first offer for A&M in the 2024 cycle. Um, the Yeah. It's safe to say that this is not the last time we will say the name of Jordan J Jordan Johnson Rebel, and it's not the last time we're going to say the name of Fort Worth Brewer. I mean, that's yeah. a school that's really coming on with a lot of high-profile prospects. Of course, they had the transfer of Bear Alexander over there in the off season, so there are a lot of guys at that school right now that are catching recruiting attention. And Jordan Johnson Rubel has a chance to be the highest rate of the bunch, and that's saying something since Bear is number six in our state rankings mm -hmm. now. Um, but this guy's emerged at a premier position, cornerback, tough to find guys. He's already 5'11", and he has the skill set that you're looking for to lock down the t other team's top receiver. If he grows to six foot, six foot one, I think that you're going to see him be one of those guys who's in the national discussion for five-star status mm -hmm. on all the recruiting services. Uh, this is a big-time guy, and, of course, he was featured in DCTF Rising as one of the top 25, 2024 prospects as well. Um 
he's going to get everybody. You know, I th- I think you can see Texas A&M, it was their very first 2024 offer mm-hmm. out of any position. Mm-hmm. This is the guy. So that is a pretty strong indication. And then you see a school like Georgia who's known for producing defensive backs come behind them. So Yeah, keep an eye on this guy uh, there in white settlement. Jordan he's Johnson, quick Br- too, man. Rubel, uh, the corner. Uh, out of uh, the Fort Worth area there at Brewer. Finally, let's wrap it all up with our Recruit of the Week. Our Recruit of the Week is Spearman 2022 athlete Brennan Thompson. We've mentioned him before. Uh, Let's talk track. Uh, The state championships for this weekend in Austin. Um, And Brennan Thompson had a really nice go of it. Took home the gold medal in the 200 at the 3A level. Uh, He had a silver medal in the 100. Uh, This is a four-star prospect at the Dave Campbell's Texas Football. He's got offers from all over, uh, including uh, probably the headliners are Texas A&M, Alabama, Clemson, and Oklahoma State. He's already scheduled a couple of official visits. Uh, But Brennan Thompson, of course, a star on the football field. And uh, and this was a, a big weekend for... Guys who like to dig into the nitty gritty, like you, uh, where it's like, oh, like there's no games going on right now, but we can go and watch the track, uh, the state <laughs> track championships, and get a feel for for who's really showing out. Well, I really like the state track championships this year because there were a lot of high profile recruits who put up good times or had strong performances um, in the power events as well, and there haven't been a lot of camps and track times available you know and Brennan Thompson is one of these guys who closed strong this year on the track at the beginning of the year you'll remember Major Everhart was able to defeat him in one of the district events and now uh, coming full circle to the state track championships Brennan Thompson stepped up and and secured gold uh, in the 200 and then secured silver in the 100 and his times were pretty good 21 to 7 in the 200 and 10 4 and the 100, that's pretty fast. You know, that <laughs> I'll take that any day on my team. And, and he's got these top schools coming after him. I, mean, I see a lot of the crystal ball picks are for Clemson, but he's going to take a, a strong look at some of these other schools as well, taking official visits to Oklahoma State and Alabama. And then, of course, in state you have Texas and Texas A&M. And, and whoever gets him is going to be getting a guy who probably is going to play offense because of his speed but could also flip over and play – defense as well he brings a lot to the table yeah he is a guy in brennan thompson out there at spearman uh whose name we will be saying a lot in the 2021 season a guy whose name we're always saying a lot <laughs> is greg powers of next level athlete follow him on twitter at g power scout follow next level athlete on twitter next level d1c his fine work at texasfootball.com slash recruiting 